Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's the stupidest double standard you ever heard from someone? Dude I worked with felt I needed to know that he'd have to have a wife and a mistress because he didn't want someone who sucked his dick kissing the kids. And I was like, have you considered maybe washing your dick better? Quote, really they can't reconcile respecting someone they have sex with. Also kind of suggests this guy never eats pussy or kisses his kids. My friend's mom said men cheating and women cheating are different because men only care about the physical and not the emotional. Come to find out, she was being cheated on by her current husband. And I am assuming this is how she coped. The responses I got to being cheated on were different. I was blamed by other people for not giving her what she needed so obviously she should go out and cheat to get those things. And I responded with do you think the same about men cheating? Of course not. Men cheat because they can't be trusted and will fuck anything they can. Women cheat because they are being mistreated by men and it's his fault that she has to go out and do that. Quote, was a great comment to me. The panic attack filled, suicidal person whose life was falling apart and entire world was destroyed. By this woman. Yeah. I left that workplace pretty soon after those comments. I hope you're doing better now. He can't refuse sex. He's the man. The woman always decides when and where we have sex. Everybody knows that. In marriage counseling, my ex-wife, while we were still married, she was serious, too. My ex-wife would get visibly angry when I wasn't in the mood but she was. More than once I'd ask her like, you know how messed up it would be if these roles were reversed. Right, if I got mad at you for not being in the mood. And her response was just, well, you're a guy. Yep, that's it exactly. Part of it is the stovepipe effect. Where people will believe what others say confidently when they're alone with similar people. Some of it is just not realizing it's wrong. My aunt calls dot me. Q slut for wearing short skirts. She doesn't know the father of two of her three children. Then you are getting called a slut by the expert. This actually made me laugh audibly. My crazy uncle used to hire undocumented immigrants while complaining that illegal aliens were stealing people's jobs. He liked to hire them because they worked hard and were cheap. Hiding in plain sight perfect. My father hired illegals as well and cheated the government out of any financial loophole he could muster. If it meant not paying for trailer tags because he could swap registrations with a friend who also had a trailer so be it. Anyone else who did that was a scumbag including the lady who was criminally undercharging his mother for desperately needed house cleaning that he felt should be paying taxes. So they let her go and let the house rot. I don't miss him. My husband bitches about people on welfare while actively getting medical assistance and social security from the state. Reminds me of when Craig T. Nelson, the actor from Coach, was on Fox News bitching that, I've been on food stamps and welfare. Anybody helping me out? No. Uh. Lauren Bobbitt enters the chat. LMAO. Bragged about how her entire family got government cheese and other support. But how she's a firm believer that anyone can make it and we need to get rid of all these taxpayer programs that just keep people being lazy and not working. I was able to become a member of US Congress thanks to being able to receive food stamps, subsidized housing, and go to free public school. But I'm going to cut it off for everyone who comes after me. That's some classic MAGA thinking right there. My parents complaining that Medicare only covered the lens replacement after cataract surgery but not correcting the vision back to 2020. While complaining about Obamacare in particular and socialized medicine in general. Oh, we have the same parents. The Affordable Care Act is socialism. Thanks, Obama, is finally able to sign up for healthcare once hitting Medicare age. I used to have a problem with welfare because my mom abused it when I was growing up. She's a scammer, but then I realized it's freaking food. I don't care if a thousand people abuse it if one family gets to eat. We got behind on our rent this year. I'd missed a ton of work due to a surgery and being very very ill. My mother-in-law hasn't worked for over 30 years. Lives rent free in the house that her mother paid off years ago. Gets disability, food stamps and other monetary support from the government. When we got behind she says, I don't understand how you can't afford to pay your bills. Maybe you should get a second job. The last time she paid rent over 30 years ago she paid 250 a month. Which she split with her BF at the time. She also gets assistance with her electric bill. Meanwhile we have 1650 rent, car payment, car insurance, electric, groceries. We get no assistance whatsoever. It's so frustrating being lectured by someone who has everything provided for her. Also she doesn't even leave the house at all, literally ever. She has me and one of her daughter's workers to do grocery shopping and laundry and all her household chores. Sounds like someone needs to learn to be an adult. Your mother-in-law. That someone. I mean, holy shit. Not even doing laundry or basic household things. I understand if she's completely unable. But if that's the case then she should get a paid minder of some kind. You don't need to spend time taking care of another adult who has options to take care of themselves. 
Deleted. My Phil served in Vietnam. When he came home, he used the GI Bill to get a free college degree in social work. He didn't like being a social worker. So he spent much of his adult life working as an appliance salesman, an electrical supply salesman, or, for significant chunks of time, was unemployed. He owned a house and raised two kids. When he retired, his sole source of income was social security. He never paid a dime for medical care because of his VA benefits. He sold his house, that he paid like $65,000 for in the 70s, for a healthy profit, moved to Nevada, and settled into a retirement community. If you asked him, he'd happily tell you that, the problem with this country is all the people and their damned entitlements. I don't know why people don't just get a job. Quote, 